Hello there, Simon Craig here. And today I'm looking at Plasti Dip paint and how to use it to make foam look like painted metal surfaces for cosplay and for live roleplay. Now previously I looked at some Plasti Coat paint. Here's an Eastern Block style grey control panel and a red van brace that I made in a previous video. Now I'd been led to believe that Plasti Dip is very similar to Plasti Coat but just another name. However, some people say that Plasti Dip and Plasti Coat are very different. So let's look into it. I'm going to paint this big science fiction van brace in a sort of Soviet utilitarian way. I did include some pipe lagging, which doesn't seem to like the heat glue. Let's cover up that bit. First of all, I'm going to do a PVA test. I painted one side of this piece of foam with PVA and the other I haven't. And then I'm doing one coat of Plasti Dip paint and see the difference. The paint has soaked in more on the side that I haven't done the PVA coat. When the PVA dries, it isn't so much a seal on the surface as it's soaked into the foam so that your first coats of paint don't have to soak in quite so much into the foam. I take my Plasti Dip spray. Then I do several coats. And here we have it. This has been painted with the grey Plasti Dip paint, although it hasn't been weathered and so on yet. I thought I'd have a look before I continue. And, hmm, it has sort of a crinkle effect. Much in the same way that the red one did. I have bigger blank surfaces on here, so it will show a bit more. But the crinkles do disappear. It takes to the pipe lacking very well indeed. Let's weather this up and see what it looks like when it's finished. I'll do this in the same way as my previous video, with a wash of mucky coloured paint and highlight it with some silver as if the corners have been worn away. Here we are with our stressed and weathered Eastern Block utilitarian van brace. Um, it does seem to wrinkle and it shows it up more but I think possibly that's because it's matte compared to the other shiny one in my last video. Now then, one thing I found. This one bends a lot better than the other one. The paint is a lot rubberier. Rubberier. I can't talk. The paint is a lot more rubbery. Yes, it gets crinkles in when it gets stressed like that. But they come out. It also bends the other way. Compare that. Compare that to this which is the Plasti Coat and all this paint cracks and this paint cracks when you bend it it crinkles that way, the same as the Plasti Dip Now the vast majority of equipment isn't folded up and treated in this way so this test is considerably over the top and Plasti Coat will be fine with a lot of equipment and indeed, a lot of builders use plastic coat in conjunction with other materials, such as latex. Here we have them. One is gloss, one is matte. In this particular case. So, there you have it. The plastic dip, the, the plastic dip paint does bend a lot easier and doesn't crack as much as the plastic coat paint. Plastic coat paint is a more traditional spray paint, I think, although a lot thicker and is cheaper and in my opinion is still usable. I hope you found this video informative and I look forward to seeing you again.
please click subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And it means YouTube will tell you when I've got new videos out. Thank you very much. Goodbye.